Good morning, everyone. Today we're going to talk about past continuous tense. Before we start, let's have a quick look of the present continuous tense first. We use the present continuous tense to talk about an action that is happening at the present time. For example, as you can see, I'm doing homework now. And we use the past continuous tense to talk about an action that continued for a period of time in the past. I was doing homework at 3 p.m. yesterday. And now let's have a look. They were eating at six o'clock yesterday. And for this girl, we can also say she was playing the piano at 4 p.m. yesterday. So we use the past continuous tense to talk about a continuous action that happened at a particular point of time in the past. For example, we would use the past continuous tense to talk about an ongoing action and we will we will put a point of a time in the in the past at the end of a sentence. And you may you may question how we can form a question with the use of past continuous tense. So we cannot form a question by saying what you were doing. Instead, we should ask a question. What were you doing at 1 p.m. this afternoon? And when we are answering to the question, we also have to use the same tense. I was having lunch. We cannot answer with I had lunch. And now let's have a look of this sentence. I was sleeping when my dad came home. So on the left hand side, why is this in the past continuous tense? And on the right hand side, this is in the simple past tense because there are two actions here. We use the past continuous tense for the longer action and we use the simple past tense for a shorter action. So sleeping is a longer action and my dad came home, this is a shorter action. So that's why we have to make sure which one is a longer action so that we can use the correct tense. So here's an example. So here is a boy who is sleeping and daddy is coming home. So we can say, I was sleeping when dad came home. And we use when to link a longer action and a shorter action together. And for this, the thief was escaping when the police caught him. So now let's have a look of this exercise. So on the left-hand side, we have the picture with the word hike. And on the right-hand side, we have a picture like this. And we have a short sentence, break his leg. So can you, can you think which one is a longer action? Would it be going off for, will it be hiking or will it be breaking his leg? And for longer action, we have to use past continuous tense. And which one is a shorter action? And we have to use past tense when we link these two actions together. So here are two sentences and you have to think which one is the correct one. Tim was hiking when he broke his leg or should it be Tim was hiking when he was breaking his leg? So the first one is the correct answer because break his leg, this is a shorter action. So we have to use simple past tense. And now, can you join two actions using the correct tenses and the word when? You have to think which one is the longer action and you have to use the past continuous tense. And you also have to think which one is a shorter action and you need to use the simple past tense. I'll give you one to two minutes to think of the answer.
And don't forget, you need to use the word when when we link two actions together. Okay, I think you guys all have the answers in your mind. So let's check the answers together. I was crossing the road when a car bumped into me. So thank you all for your time. And I hope you have a better understanding on the use of past continuous tense. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.